Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. Today, it's been a while since I've had any, any kind of food videos on my channel. Today, I, I'm going to make uh, some deviled eggs because uh, I've been eating a lot of hard-boiled eggs lately. And uh, to be honest with you, it's getting boring. Uh, and it got boring before that. I was eating scrambled eggs, over hard, over easy. So my wife said, why don't you make deviled eggs? And uh, I don't do all the cooking in the house. I didn't know how to do it. She says it's easy. So all you gotta do is boil some eggs. So I boiled six eggs last night, and I put them in the fridge to get them nice and cold. Cause she says they're easy to peel once they're cold. I don't know. It's gonna be first time for me. I went on YouTube anyways to see how to make them, and I saw this video. It's got over 824,000 freaking views for deviled eggs. And show the ingredients that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this. Uh, Classic mayo right here from Kroger because it has no sugar in it and no carbs. And uh, this has very, very little sugar in it. Sweet hot mustard. Most people that have, the videos I've watched just use regular mustard. And I'm going to kick it up a notch with some crushed red pepper. The videos I've been seeing people, they use the paprika, or cayenne pepper. And I'm also going to put some uh, black pepper on it also. Mix it up in a bowl and then I'll show you after I get these things peeled. Plus, I'm going to wash it down with this Sobe Life Water. It has zero calories. This is great for diabetics. So, hard boiled eggs are great for diabetics because it's extremely low carbs and extremely low sugar. It's like point, 0 0.6 or something like that. This has absolutely no sugars in it. Uh, you can uh, zoom in on the label, pause and zoom on if you want to read it. This is also great if you're trying to lose weight. It's better than those energy drinks like Monster and whatever else, Gatorade, because this is uh, exactly no calories, no fat, no sugars. Great for diabetic people and great for if you're exercising, trying to lose weight and you're tired of just drinking water. So let me get started on these eggs and uh, see how easy they are to crack open. I'm gonna do that in the sink. All right, let's see. My wife says this is easy, I don't know, I don't. I just eat the food. She's the one that does. I do do some cooking, but she does all the exotic cooking in the house. And uh, I don't know if there's somebody out there that has a secret of how to. Because this is not peeling off easy for me. Look at that. I saw a video where the lady was just peeling them off in big sheets of. Eggshell. I'll tell you a secret, an ancient Indian secret that peeling off all the eggs here. That uh, well, I can't show you because it's not peeling off a giant sh shell. This piece, this right here, this is an old Indian trick. This skin right here. If you ever cut yourself, my mom used to do this all the time when we were kids. She would boil the egg. She would get a regular raw egg crack it open, dump out the yolk, and then peel the skin off. She would peel it off in big sheets, and then she would cover it onto top of the cut like that. When I was a kid, we grew up to a point we didn't have band-aids, so she would use this as a band-aid. Cover that up, the cut, and then wrap it with the uh, toilet paper, and the cut would heal extremely fast with no scars. So the, the skin on the inside of the eggshell is extremely well for wounds and stuff. I don't know, you can Google it and see if it's true, but all I know is that's what my mom used as uh, band-aids when we were kids growing up. Old Indian trick. So they used back in the old days, back when she was a kid, she used to tell us. Alright, so I'm not going to film all these eggs peeling because this is taking forever for long, so I'll show you it when it's done. Alright, so here's what I found as a trick. If you run water while you're peeling the eggshell, the eggshell comes off and bigger chunks, pieces like this. I don't know why that is, but it just makes it easier to peel. Look at that. See that big piece of skin? Here's that skin I was telling you about earlier. See that? When you uh, break open a raw egg, it's, it peels off on the inside of the shell a lot easier. Then you would put this on your cut and then cover it. It has some kind of anti- septic or whatever medi medicine in the skin there but uh yeah i found it a lot easier to uh, peel the shell off when you're running water over the egg something i just 
stumbled onto. I don't know, I guess water gets under the shell and it just comes off so much easier. And look how smooth it looks. No chunks compared to this one. Big difference. I just discovered that myself. Thought I'd pass it on. It's a good thing I got that new garbage disposal because then I can just put all this stuff down in the garbage. The garbage, this garbage, this garbage. I can't even talk. Put it in the garbage disposal and then crunch all this stuff up. Yeah, I'm glad I've, I've figured out with this water because, uh, oh my goodness, it, would, it took like two and a half minutes to do all them eggs. And put all this down in there and grind that up. All right, now we're just going to see, see how smooth these eggs are now. That water trick was a good idea. Cut these eggs in half. Try not to destroy the eggs because they seem to be really delicate. Now I was watching this video, this lady she said she every time she does deviled eggs, she has a way that she does it that doesn't have the green outline of these eggs. She likes them all yellow. I don't know. I didn't see her uh, how she did it, but because her eggs were already boiled and cut by the time she started showing you how to make them. But uh, get these all cut up and then we'll take the inside out and start mixing in with the ingredients all right take the insides out look like little little moons Just try not to break the egg because you're going to be mixing up this yolk and putting it on the inside if you've never made deviled eggs before like me I never I always just gone to parties and it's already made and just eaten and said, well that's a good one how they make it and never did it. I never watched my wife make it either. Look at that. It's weird how it's a different color on the back side. Like I said if you're diabetic like me these are really really good protein because uh, when you're diabetic you can eat as much protein as you want. Just cut out the sugars and the carbs and these are very very little carbs. I think hard boiled eggs are like I said are like 0 0.6 grams which is extremely extremely low because your body turns carbs to sugar so you have to watch your sugar and your carb intake alright there we go and that's what the yolk looks like and that's what the uh, eggs shells look like get a fork I'm going to mix this all up and then I'm going to add the ingredients there and I'll show you after it's all mixed up okay so you want to get a fork and smash these down my daughter has got that hacking cough like I had for the last three weeks She's here doing her homeschooling. That looks delicious. I love eggs. I love eating hard boiled eggs, but when you eat them as many times as I've been eating them, they tend to start getting boring, the taste. I'm going to get this all smashed up really good with that. I wonder if you could turn this into a powder. Alright, I'm going to add in some pepper. Kick it up a notch. And then I'm going to add some of this crushed pepper that you put on your pizza. Then I'm going to add some now and I'll add some later. Just a little now. Give it that extra kick. Put in some mayonnaise and some spicy mustard and then I'll get back with you. Alright, it's all mixed up and I tell you what man, this filling is delicious with that spicy uh, sweet mustard. Yeah, spicy sweet mustard. Boom. Oh my god, that is delicious. And it's got that little fiery kick from the spicy mustard and the crushed peppers. Alright, here's the finished product right there. All I gotta do now is put some of this uh, crushed peppers over the top. Kick it up even more, like Emeril Lagasse would say. Kick it up a notch. And, uh,. Get even more spiciness there. This is, like I said, this is my first attempt of ever making deviled food eggs. And uh, just look how delicious that looks. Right? And I still have some left over. Just eating this filling right here is would make great egg sandwiches, man. Put that on some bread and make a sandwich out of it if you had a little bit more. It's delicious. Uh, well, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Like always, hit that subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, 
Time for some lunch. Bon appetit. Giga! <laughs>